of Nairobi School of Law Kisumu Campus, Social Foundations and Perspective of Law. Well, we have looked at schools of thought. We have looked at different great theories that underpin law as we know it today. Well, today's topic is about how law engages science and technology. But we have first of all to submit that the society is changing and is dynamic. Equally, the law is changing and is very dynamic. <laughs> the law is changing in the sense that it is the prerogative of any government in the world to make and unmake the law. Well, the making and unmaking the law process is what we refer to as legislative process. And new laws are enacted through bills of parliament and the assent of the executive whereas the judiciary interprets and enforces the law. The executive enforces the law, formulates policy documents, and seeks to turn such policy documents into public bills that go to parliament and follow the due process of law enactment. Well, today, if we insist that our world economy, our social life, culture, and everything have been overtaken by science and technology, and this is a reality all over the world. Well, science is doing marvelous. Science is generating a lot of good to the human society, as well as the technology we are talking about. Today, talking about the technology we refer to so many new gadgets uh, that are coming up. The smartphone, we said, are going in generations. 2G, 3G, 4G, now we are at 5G. 5G, which is a new technology, is coming up with surveillance technology that will again make the work of smartphone smarter than what it has been because within the handset you have got hundreds and thousands of CCTVs planted within the gadget and you are not able to see any of them. Well, the work of CCTV is to get your image in motion and send it in form of footage to another computer. And in that case, somebody is able to monitor what you are doing, but as well is able to service you accordingly. Well, doctors use it, security guards use it, as well as those who do business, the enterprises also do it for marketing purposes. But this should not come with a surprise because so many countries are now in possession of 5G or the fifth generation of ICT or information and communication digital technology. 
we are in the digital platform even for the e-meetings we meet online uh, zoom digital uh, we use skype we use other meeting gadgets like google hangout and many others have been developed in in terms of applications what is still not well thought out is how that information is going to be used and what it is going to be used for this is the question of the big data the question of silicon valley but all the same let's look at the law where does the law come in the law comes in when rights and interests are violated well copyrights uh, intellectual property uh, patent rights and all these rights are owned by the companies that produce such technology well the global south is known for utilization of the technology that it does not own global north owns the technology but avails it to the global south well, when rights are violated, like privacy rights, security rights, health rights, and so many things, then law comes in. My allegory of the triangle is still valid in the sense that at the basis, we place science and technology. At the apex, we put the law because the law must inform science and technology as well as regulating the entire process in the free market theory laissez-faire tradition that has changed our globe in a way that uh, everybody admires but all the same we need to take precautions and i admit that law is the only social control system par excellence that should regulate our social ecosystem thank you peter here thank you for watching university of nairobi school of law kisum campus i expect to meet you again share with us your thoughts your your perspective so that we get into common platform while discussing matters that we consider under social foundations and perspective of law Thanks so much and have a good day.